Hello everyone, this is Ross here to talk to you about my PD project, which is on WePresent. WePresent is a new tool we have at BCTC. I say new, we rolled it out in the first building in January of last year, 2017. What is WePresent? It's a wireless presentation tool where before you had to wire up your laptop if you wanted to show your screen on the big screen. Now with WePresent, you can show your laptop or your tablet or your smartphone, iPhone, Android, any of the above on the big screen. And not only can you do one at a time, you can do multiple devices at a time. So it has some opportunities. Um, presents some challenges for getting folks at BCTC up to speed with the tool. But this is a, a noted need at Bluegrass. We need to have training for this. We need to teach folks about it. Um, we present is a great tool, but we got to get it into people's hands. My PD starts with an agenda. As we've noted since the beginning, good PD includes an agenda. The sessions at the fall kickoff where I'll be presenting this workshop are 60 minutes long. So I've packed those 60 minutes, of course. And um, our first agenda item is to download the software. You gotta get the software on your phone or your computer in order to use the device. So while it may be a bit tedious up front, uh, I've allocated five minutes at the beginning just to get that software up and running on everybody's device. That way, when it comes to step four on the agenda, folks will not only be using WePresent, but they'll be sharing their ideas about how to integrate WePresent into their activities, whether that's in the classroom or the boardroom. So that item number four is really the meat of this workshop and the part I'm most excited about. But we've got to skip, uh, or rather we've got to to get the tedious stuff out of the way, and so folks can use this link, QR code, or link to, to download the software. Our second agenda item, learning about we present. This is gonna be recognizable to folks who work at BCTC. This is a wall plate with uh, inputs for the projector. So you've got VGA, you've got HDMI. Uh, if you wanna hook up your laptop, you've got a be tethered in by a cord. If you want to hook up your phone, you're out of luck. You can't do it. Same thing with the black box setups that we have at many of our other campuses. Again, VGA inputs. Some laptops don't even have VGA anymore. So we're outdated. We need to upgrade. This is where we present comes in. Uh, thus, I'm identifying and explaining the need to those folks in the, the workshop. Same thing at Newtown. And it's ugly, isn't it? Uh, this is the ugliest. These cables look like they're unplugged. They're waiting to be plugged into your laptop, but a lot of folks just don't seem to get that. So we present, as this video shows and explains much better in about a minute, uh, we present eliminates the needs for those cables. I'm going to skip past this video since we don't need to watch this. This is the so what's in it for me section of the presentation. Why does we present benefit those who are going to use it, those administrators, those faculty members? Um, but more importantly, why does we present benefit students? This is where I bring in some studies, uh, an EDUCAUS report that says that 90% of college students, including community college students, own a smartphone. And this report that says that students who use smartphones for academic purposes have higher communication rates with their classmates and with faculty. Those are linked here, so folks can read those later if they're interested. This next section talks about some ideas for integration that we present in the classroom. I worked with Connie Rhine, who is uh, the manager of the support center at BCTC. She is also in charge of Blackboard and Skype and a lot of other trainings. So I worked with her. She has a little better knowledge of uh, what instructors might like to see in classrooms. With her help, I came up with these four ideas for integrations. A one-minute paper where students can write 
basically stream of consciousness and show it on the screen. A jigsaw lesson where students divide into groups, prepare a presentation, then come back to share it with the, with the entire class. An exhibition where students can show their artwork or a poster presentation, things like that on the big screen from their devices. And a scavenger hunt, which uh, has some potential, if done correctly, to be more than just a, a fun event, but to be something that can can uh, students can learn from. This is the real meat of my presentation, sharing your ideas using We Present. I'm going to give instructors 10 minutes to get together. They'll be sitting at tables. They'll be brainstorming together um, their own ideas for how to use We Present in the classroom. And after those 10 minutes are up, uh, they'll each connect group by group their devices to the big screen and share what they've come up with. While they're sharing, I'll be recording their ideas on this slide so that they can later come back, check out the slide, and uh, uh, have those resources recorded on these sticky notes. Finally, at the end of the workshop, I've got a little bit of time for follow-up questions. And then I've got a link to a feedback form here, which will take them to this survey. Um, pretty basic survey. The most important thing I think is this question, do you need additional help? That's what we're here for. We're here to serve you. How can we do that? Give us your email and we'll help you out. Finally, at the end of the presentation, what has been an agenda has become resources complete with links here for every step of the way. I'll give folks a copy of this entire slideshow so they can have it at their disposal. And then I've got references here uh, at the end, which is really for the purpose of this class. So as far as this PD, I'm excited to present this in August, August 3rd at the fall kickoff, but it doesn't have to be just a one-off presentation. There's other things like adjunct orientations or Fridays, where I can advertise to do more of these types of sessions. So all this work doesn't have to go into just one session. As far as the We Present tool, I was looking at the, let's see, the SAMR framework, and I was wondering where We Present fits. I, I think it might be more of an augmentation, maybe a modification type tool. I wonder about its its utility. Hopefully we'll get some great ideas in the brainstorming section. But whether or not we like it, this tool is a part of BCTC. And it's up to me to promote its use among the faculty and staff and hopefully get them comfortable with it. So again, thanks for your time. Uh, appreciate your attention. I think I've gone a little over, but um, We'll, we'll call it here. Thanks.